Have you ever found yourself holding back from saying something during a meeting? Or maybe you find that you, you're in a meeting, but you never find the opportunity to say what you want to say. Or maybe, maybe you find speaking up during a meeting or in a group, maybe you find that really scary. So you never say anything, but then you end up beating yourself up after, after the meeting because you really wish that you had said what you wanted to say. If that is you, I've got some good news. I've got some great tips in this video that are gonna help you look, feel, and sound way more confident when you're speaking up. So let's go. speak up and deliver your opinion or ask a question with confidence and conviction is a really important skill because not only will it help you stand out, it's also going to increase your credibility and also your authority. And it won't be long before people are turning to you to see because they're seeing you as the expert or the leader. Don't wait to be invited to speak because if you do, there's a good chance that you might never get the opportunity to say what it is that you want to say. What I would suggest is that over the next few group conversations or meetings that you have, start to observe, start to notice when pauses arrive. There is, you, over time and with experience, you can start to tell when somebody is starting to wrap up what they're going to say, which means a pause is about to appear, which is going to be your opportunity to interject and deliver your thoughts and your opinions. This is, a, this is a really cool one, and that is signal that you are about to speak or that you want to speak. Now, a great way to do this is, first of all, you want to make eye contact with the person who is speaking. I don't know why I'm looking over here. There's nobody speaking over here, but I'm pretending that I am. So you want to make eye contact with the person who is speaking. You then also want to gesture slightly with your hand. And that could be like a finger coming. You don't want to put your hand up like you're back at school, but a finger coming up, the hand slightly opening, leaning in. You want to open your mouth slightly so it looks like you're about to say something and take an inhale. That inhale shows that you are taking in air, getting ready to speak. Now, by making eye contact with the speaker, if they notice that you are looking at them and they can see that you're getting ready to speak, the chances are when they finish talking, they will throw to you. Now, even if this doesn't work, even if the speaker doesn't throw to you, the rest of the group hopefully will notice your signals that you want to say something and then they'll draw their attention towards you. So make sure that you signal that you're about to speak. Don't rush when it's your turn to speak or when you get the opportunity to speak. I see this time and time again at conferences when someone's been waiting to ask a question, all of a sudden the speaker turns towards them and say, yes, I can see that you've got a question. That person in the audience who has the question, because they've been waiting, the anticipation's built up, all of a sudden they'll speak at about a thousand miles an hour and they make themselves, first of all, they sound nervous and secondly, sometimes they speak so fast people can't understand what they're saying. So be really aware when, when it is your chance to speak, for you to display that confidence, that credibility, you want to be really aware of how fast you are speaking when you get a chance to say your piece. There are a few more to go. I've got quite a few for you this week, but whatever you're saying, make it clear and concise. The old saying, less is more, that is exactly right when it comes to communication. We are hardwired to look for people who, or listen to people that make the thing that they're explaining as simple as possible. So when you do get a chance to talk, if you want what you say to be remembered, say it in as few words as possible. Don't lean back. This just makes you look disengaged. It makes you, it almost makes you become invisible in that group. You want to be leaning forward. You want to be looking at the speaker. You want to be observing the body language of other people that are that are in that group. Ultimately, you want to be leaning in and looking engaged. When I'm emceeing events, when I'm, when I'm not only watching the speaker up on stage, I'm looking around at the audience because I want to see how they're reacting to the information that is being delivered. So make sure you're not leaning back. Make sure you're leaning in, get engaged in that conversation. Don't ask for permission to speak. Asking for permission makes it look like you are questioning your own authority as to whether you should be saying anything. It damages your credibility. So don't ask for permission to speak. Whatever you've got to say, your opinion or the question that you've got to ask, Deliver that with confidence. To be aware of your breathing rate. When the spotlight is suddenly shone on you and you're about to say something, there's a very good chance that your breathing will start to speed up, which is going to affect not only your rate of speech, which we've already covered, but it will also affect how confident you look. People who are confident, they will breathe slowly and they'll breathe from the abdomen as well.
My eighth tip in this video, and it is the final tip, is to make sure that you are using confident body language when you are communicating, but also while you are listening as well. Now, confident body language is is chin up, it is looking around, it is making eye contact, it is having your hands above the table. Confident body language is, is open, it sits tall. One of the big mistakes I see a lot of people make, especially in conferences when all of a sudden they're asked to, to, to ask a question to the speaker that's on stage, they will, and I'm gonna try and demonstrate it for you now, they will bring their hands almost between their thighs making the, and put them underneath the table, making themselves look smaller. Now, on the video now, I'm pretty sure that all of a sudden I've gone from looking confident to looking not quite so confident. The moment that you do this, I've just seen it in the screen, I can see that straight away, I look so much more confident. So you need to be really aware of your body language when you're in those meetings or when you're in those group conversations, not only when you're speaking, but also when you are listening. So those are the eight tips. If you found this video helpful, if you found this video useful, then please please share it around, share it with somebody else who you think could benefit from this. Also, if you have enjoyed this, make sure that you check out my free how to build rapport online program that will be in the link below this video and finally if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel yet make sure that you do so that you hear about any video as soon as they arrive but i'd love to hear in your comments which one was your favorite tip have you got a tip that you can share with people how to be more confident when you are speaking up in a group setting leave it in the comments below i'll see you in the next video Yes, that's right. We're still going. Tip number seven. <laughs> Tip number seven. All the sevens, 77. Why am I doing that? Okay, here we go. Underneath the table. I just hit the, I just had both the microphone. Just breathing start might to speed it. Might, might start to speed up. Breathing, mic, and they will breathe. I say speak. People who are confident would. Let's just restart this whole one again. I've messed this one up, haven't I? Yes, I have.